This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com. Oh, that's a real Dobson Wizards right here, and welcome to another Yu Yu pack opening. Is my luck going to continue? I surely hope so. It is the month of Christmas. Please check out GeekRetreat.com, get all your stuff there for your Christmas products and all that. Lot. And today, this is a massive present for me because Santa Claus has came in with a big sack. And we've got ourselves a whole case of Ghosts from the Past, the Second Haunting. Yes, five boxes of it. I'm going to open them up right now, people. So whilst I am talking to you guys right now, I'm opening them up right now. Just to let you guys know. Now, you might be thinking, Dobsy, you've opened up quite a lot of these. Haven't you got all the cards yet? There's still a lot of cards in that set that I really do want more doubles of. However, we are still in the hunt. A lot of the Ghost Rare cards, mainly the beautiful, the good looking, the sexy Dark Magician Girl. Yes, Dark Magician Girl is the Ghost Rare in this set, and it's the chaser card out of the whole shebang. So, yeah, of course, a lot of us are still trying to hunt her down. None of us haven't pulled her yet. Yes, none of us. Everybody in Geek Retreat are still hunting her down. A lot of them have given up on her. I've not given up on her. Right now, I'm just going to open them up as per right now. Try and get them all out. Ah. There we go. There we go. So, that there. Uh, I wish I had my flipping trusty knife opener right here, but it looks like it's gone missing. Bugger. Uh. Good. That's not fair. I need my knife. I need my trusty knife. Oh, never mind. But either way, whilst I'm opening them up, I can talk to you guys. Now, there is a lot of cards. Besides, of course, the Dark Magician Girl. We've already pulled two Ghost Rares out of the set. Sadly, they were off camera, but I did give you them as a news feed on my normal short channel. Well, on my original channel, but as like news feeds. We pulled the Blue Eyes and the Blue Eyes Ultimate. We've not pulled any of the others. The main, ca the one that we don't really want to get, but if we do get it, it's still amazing because it is the Ghost Rare. And that is the Eye of Tamias. It is the cheapest Ghost Rare. It's not really worth a lot. But still, if you don't have it, it's worth having it in your possession. But of course, there is others that I do want to get. Of course, there is the Ring Dragon of Ra, Sphere Mode, which is a beautiful card. Cyber Dragon, which is, again, another amazing Ghost Rare. And Red Dragon Archfiend is actually quite nice. But I've actually made a little bit of a deal with one of my um, colleagues slash friends who is willing to probably trade off his Red Dragon Archfiend for one of my cards that he's actually needing. So... We could potentially have a great deal in our hands, people, probably this week. Probably I might get myself another Ghost Rare. But I do apologise, people, if this is taking a little bit of time, but we're almost done. Here we go. We've got a lot of booster packs right here to open up. Let's open up the first one. Here we go. Wish me luck, people. Can we get some amazing pulls? Now, I'm not going to sleeve them all up one after the other because they're all holographics. The main ones going to be pulling, trying to sleeve up are like the Jesters, Hyofrax, you know, some of them are good ultra rares, but all the rest of them, I'm not going to put a price on them because they are dropping like flies, people. They really are dropping a lot, people. They really are. So let's see what we get. We've got ourselves Mercury. We've got the Spirit. Number 60, Dragon. And nice, there we go. That's the first one. That's actually a really good card. We've got Neko World, uh, Bet Banshee. That's actually a really good Ultra Rare right there. So we're going to sleeve her up. That's actually a really good Ultra Rare right from the very get go. We got ourselves Vision Hero Ray, Double D, a, bl a Glow Up Bloom, Box of Friends. And nice, Barrel and Dragon. That's actually a really good Ultra Rare right there, too. So that's actually a good Ultra Rare there. We'll sleeve him up. So right from the very get-go, we've got two good cards right from the very get-go, which is very, very good. More Spirits, Steen, Eternity, Frost Dragon, and Sky Cavalry. It's, again, another good card. 
I'm actually, I'm not going to sleeve that one up to be honest because I actually have pulled quite a lot of him. But for these cards there, I'm not really pulled a lot of, so that's not bad for me. We've got Chorus in the Sky, Skull B Buggy, another Ghost Trick, a Yang Zing. There we go, we've got Christian Halifrax, very good card. And there's actually an expensive card when it first got released, but of course it has dropped. Um, but like I said people, I will show you the price on what it originally was priced, if you guys want to know. So you guys know how expensive that card was when it first got released in this set. But of course, it probably has dropped by like 10%. Or probably by 50% for all we know. It's, uh, it's quite sad that um, an expensive set has dropped to a very cheap set. But sadly, for some, but luckily that some of the ghost rares, of course, the, I'm talking about the Dark Magician Girl. She has kept her value, which is insane. Vampire Sucker, Rare Fish. And another one, Christian, again. That's actually really good. Very good, very nice. Now you may be thinking, people, Dobzy, have you, this is, is this the last... Ghost in, the, Ghost in the Past box you've got left. No, I actually have one more case left, but I'm saving out for a very big, massive rainy day. We got Mummy, Tankio, Zombie World, good card. And there it is, the best ultra rare from the set. We get the Jester. Used to be around about a 30 to 40 pound card. It now dropped around about, so I think it's about, I think this card is now around about a 15 to a 10 pound card, but it's still a very good card to get. You definitely get your money back nicely. On one of these boxes so that's really good we got our first one there for this video good to know we got earth vision hero monarch plum the troll pestle and the farius and of course the vision heroes actually hold a bit of money too but they have been dropping price like crazy too next pack we get ourselves venus i'm your venus i'm your fire your desire we got ourselves more plunder patrols Bloom, Galaxy Soldier, another one that's actually really good as well. This only, this had a, this was the reprint for this set. Um, it was an expensive card when it first got released for this set because it hasn't been reprinted for many, many years. And sadly, it dropped like crazy because people open this up like crazy, including myself. But I do not mind. Next pack, Dallas and Girl pack. What can we get out of here? We got Double D Necro Slime. We got Metal Avion, we got Pendulum Area, which I don't actually have, that's the first time I've seen that card. Vampire Kingdom, and another Barrel and Dragon, okay! This is really, really good, we're doing very well on these packs, people, for the Ultras, that uh, actually hold still a bit of value. We got ourselves Blaze Dragon, we got The Master, Hyperion, Ghost Trick, Plunder Patrol, and a heat soul let's go finally we get ourselves a heat soul i've only pulled i think only one copy of heat soul for now having a second copy that is really good for me because heat soul is actually really really good card for me and for all my friends so it's good to have a second copy of it next pack now as you guys know the pull rate for the ghost rares is all over the place there could be you could get one in a box you could get zero in a box you could get seven of them in a box that's happened before yang zing old burst dragon okay final pack out of the third box i think my luck is still there people because we got the jester and all them lot which are really good but no ghost rare yet so that's fair enough nice final sigma finally we got that card and oh we got ourselves kluger as well that's actually a really good pack right there. That's really, really good. We're going to sleeve them two up right here, right now. Both very good cards. Good cards for your elements of heroes as well. So I'll take that. Second to last box right here, people. Now, a lot of people may be thinking, Dobsy, why don't you just buy the Dark Vision Girl Ghost Rare? Because she's freaking expensive. She's around about 300 to 400 pounds still. She never dropped, she never went up. Well, she did went up at one point, but she dropped a tiny bit, but she was still around about the 300 pound mark, which is still eye-watering. Swamp King and Triple D. Because I really, the reason why I really want her the most, of course, it's because it's Dark Magician Girl, but I have the Dark Magician Boy 
which was in Ghost of the Past 1, which is the most expensive card I've set, so I definitely want her. We've got Moon, okay. We got to sell Spirit. We got more Plunder Patrols. King. Nice. We got Despia the Theatre branded. And another Necro World. That's good. Another Banshee. We'll, have, we'll sleeve them two up. They're both good cards. We'll sleeve, We'll put a price on them for when they first got released. And of course, they probably have dropped as well because a lot of people pulled a lot of them as well, as you guys know. Next pack. What can we get? A double D. Void. Princess of the Dune. Nice. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. That'll hold some value still because of the new structure deck that just come out in your timeline. It hasn't come out on my timeline yet. So that's definitely will hold some value because if you didn't have if you never pulled it from Ghost in the Past 2, you have to pull it now or pay for it. Final box from Ghost of the Past 2, and we pulled out a single Ghost Rare, which is fine by me. Like I said, people, it is a random look of the draw on what boxes you can get. We've got Plunder Patrol, Vision Poison, Boss, no Plunder Patrol, and another Clue Girl. Let's go! That's actually really good. Let's leave that up. Three packs left. Can we get a Ghost Rare or can we get another Jester? That'd be nice to get. Vision, Codex Store, Fossil Fusion, that's good to get. Rampage, and a Galaxy Soldier. That'll take the Galaxy Soldier, that's not bad at all. Save that up, put that there. Next pack. We got Double D, another Spirit, Zombie World, another Magician. And a Monarch! Nice! Actually, the Monarchs actually hold a bit of value too. So, I'll take that too. Because that was the only time that Monarch got released in this set. That's the only Monarch in this set. So, if you wanted the new Monarch, this is the only way to get it. Final pack of Destiny. Can we end off with a Ghost? Or can we get ourselves a bigger hitter card? Box of Friends, Princess, and the Odd Eyes Rebellion. We know Ghost in that box, but still though, it is amazing to open up Ghost from the past. Do not mind at all. Still though, I'm grateful to have only two Ghost Rares from this set. Possibly I might get a third one when I get my, my trades on. If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Comment down below. Check out geekretreat.com. And of course, the people I'm to see you guys subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! I think that's not bad. Well, quite a, quite a few good cards. Of course, Heat Soul. The Jester, of course, Hylophrex. I think that's really good, to be honest. Not bad. I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! Oh!